I'm Laura Bond, and this is Acquiescence. I love to approach bathrooms as a spa. I like them to be spas, but I also like them to be living rooms. So I always kind of do a crossover between it just being a bathroom and having furniture in the room. So there's always furniture. I try to put furniture, a chaise, a chair, a bench, something you could relax on. I, I think that turns it more into a spa. It's a space where you spend time. It's not a space to come in and brush your teeth and get out. So this one's particularly romantic. It has a chandelier over the tub. It has art. It has a lot of mirrors. It has the big round shower that's big enough for two. It also has different kinds of shower heads on both sides of the shower. And it's oversized. And it's also a directional element in that you have to walk around it to the john, which is hidden out of the way. So it has a particular circulation to it. The lighting is very soft. The candelabra gives very soft lighting. There's a lot of mixtures of materials. There's wood. There's a, a heathered tile inside the, the shower enclosure. There's two different tiles on the floor. We use a lot of different materials that all kind of blend together. It gives a lot of texture to the space, but they're very closely related. Well, the pool, I think the, the tub itself is so inviting. I mean, the fact that you want to walk right up to it. And then it has water. It actually fills from the ceiling, which is very unusual. And then you have the chandelier hanging over it. So there's a lot of elements that draw you towards the tub. There's the dressing table, the two beautiful sinks, and those are done in woods. The purest medicine cabinet actually opens from the side. It doesn't open in your face like most medicine cabinets. You actually pull it open from the side. And even the way the water hits the sink itself and then actually drains around the perimeter of the sink before it actually empties, it's very unusual. So, and also the very low profile. They actually sit on top of a counter. They're not integrated with the counter. Also, the faucets actually fill from the medicine cabinet, which is very unusual. So that's a great element. It keeps the counter all free of any other faucets or anything else that you might have to clean around. It's a very, very clean line. We use the dark material because it gives a little excitement to the space. Otherwise, an overall uh, one color or a soft palette would be fine, a lot, of, a lot of people prefer that, but if you use something dark, it emphasizes the space, it gives it more excitement. So that's where we have the, the sinks are done in the dark wood, and then we have an antique piece in dark wood, and then we actually have the copper piece that's at the end of the tub, which is an antique, which is more intense, sort of a turquoise color. But all that all goes together in a soft palette.